Sure from Ohio, Marsh Rat here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to sharpen a knife. And as we all know, all knives differ. This is, is dull. I mean, you can write it to China, edge on it. But anyhow, uh, I had a, one of my viewers asked me Show him how to sharpen a knife. So I'm going to use this as an example. And, uh, hey, thanks, David, for the request. And say hi to uh, your bud, Baby Darrington. You know who he is. I don't, but you do. So here's how Marsh Rat is going to sharpen this knife. Now, since this baby is really dull, I mean, dull, 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 we're gonna have to take uh, several steps to fine tune the edge on this. And what we're gonna need today is a grinder. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. There's all kinds of safety issues involved, but, hey, you don't get looking like this unless you've been involved with safety issues. So we'll start with the uh, grinder. Then we're going to move down to a series of files. Then we will progress to some 150 grit sandpaper some 200 grit sandpaper, some 600 grit sandpaper, and then finally, a porcelain rod. Now this is the cat's meow. This is what will finish it up and make that knife cut hair off your arms. Now, word up. If you tune your knife up periodically with this, then you don't have to fool the rest of that other stuff. That's just when you let your knife go to hell. I mean, normally, every two or three uses with your knife, tune it up with this, and then you're done. All right, let me tell you what we're going to attempt to do. Now the edge of this knife, if we put it underneath a microscope, the edge of this knife, then most likely we look at the edge and see it looks like this. And what we're gonna do is take our, our coarser tools, our coarser our file or grinder or sandpaper or whatever, and shave it. Shave that edge down where it's more of a keener point. So, uh, look at this edge. Hopefully we can see that. It's pretty well set, but a lot of work to be done up around here, around the cutting area. So I don't think we need the grinder, but we definitely are gonna use uh, our files and cut this in and reduce it from something like this to something like that. And what we're gonna do, is take our file and cut that part of the edge off and straighten it up like that. Well, before we take that next step, we need to understand what is the angle that we're trying to achieve. If this were our knife blade, Then the angle we're talking about is this angle right here. All right, 13 to 16 according to Buck. And I like a, between a 10 and 20. Now, if it's an ax or uh, 
some behavior. I put more of an angle on it. But, you know, if it's a skinny knife, I put less of an angle on it. So the angle we're talking about is right here. I, I'd say a good overall angle is 15 degrees. That's a good starting point. Be sharp. You can skin with it. But if you're cutting a tree down, you might want to make it more like a 20 or 25. Uh, the less of an angle here, of course, the more sharp the point, but it will have a tendency to, uh, to break or chip. So it's kind of a balancing act, if that makes sense. So, this blade right here, I'm gonna do like a 15 to 20 degree angle. And how do I measure it? I have no idea. You know, I, I do everything by uh, sight and feel. So, I'm just gonna trust myself and do what I've done for the last 30 or 40 years, so. You can buy a uh, knife sharpening kit. Got some angles on it. All right, if you're starting out, do that. And then sooner or later, you'll get a feel for it. So maybe that, that'd be a good recommendation. Well, kind of as a fig A, I'm gonna take a file and work on this edge. Again, I'm gonna try to make the profile of the blade look more like that. And instead of hacking like that, I'm gonna draw file it. And draw filing it simply is using a stroke like that. Look it up on, go, do a Google. But draw filing is a great technique if you want to take a piece of metal and level it out or keep it level as you're filing. That way, you sit here and hack like that, you're liable to dig a divot into that blade, which will make it extremely harder to uh, sharpen, progressively sharpen as we go along. So. Uh, I'm going to start draw filing this edge and then draw file the other edge. Okay, here's where we ended up at. I draw filed both sides. Now, if this were a buck knife, they recommend between uh, 13 to 16 degrees and I kind of play it by ear. I go somewhere between 10 to uh, 20 degrees as far as the angle. Next step, we're just going to take our uh, sandpaper, still work the same angle, just kind of fine tune the edge with that sandpaper. Holding the angle consistent. Now that we get our uh, 15 to 20 degree angle started with the file, I'm going to take a piece of uh, like a 150 grit sandpaper. <clears throat> and more or less 
just start draw filing the edge of our blade against the sandpaper. Again, we don't want to do it like this. We want to kind of draw file it. And that will keep the edge perfectly parallel. Well, shit. That's starting to get pretty sharp right there. Anyhow. We're going to stroke this edge with a 150 grit. Draw filing. And then uh, come back to you when we get done. We've completed draw filing this with 150 grit. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going down to 220. And then we're just going to take our time, draw file it like this, both sides, trying to maintain our 10 to 20 degree angle. We finished with the 220. Now I'm gonna switch over to the 600 and take my time and uh, do both sides. Crawl filing it nice and slow in there. Kind of stroking it gently at this point. Now that we're done with the 600 grit, we're just gonna take uh, our porcelain rod, kind of draw file it like that too. This is probably the easiest part, but also the most difficult part because we want to pretend like we're cutting into the porcelain rod, maintaining our uh, 15 to 20 degree angle. And what this is doing is taking probably less than a micron of that blade off at a time. So uh, we'll do this <laughs> until we get tired and wait a little bit and do it some more. This is the, like I said, the most important part. This is what really finishes your edge. And this is what makes it shave the hair off your arm. And then after you use this blade, and it gets dull, then just hit it again with this porcelain rod. You don't have to go back and uh, put the grinder back to it again. If you hit this every time you use your knife, that, that keeps it, uh, keeps the blade good and sharp. Kind of fine tunes it. Notice I'm only hitting about three times each side, flipping it over. Now you'll see a lot of people uh, have different techniques for this. I'm not sure how effective their techniques are, but I've been doing this for years and years, so I'm pretty comfortable this works, well, at least works good for me. Again, this is a porcelain rod. I've seen people use a steel rod before, but I'm not, not, I've not had a very good results with the steel rod. I like the porcelain rod. Okay, here's the end result of our sharpening job. Don't try this at home. This is for uh, skilled professionals only. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, that is wicked sharp. That'll get the job done. 
Well, thanks, David, and uh, baby Darrington. Glad you stopped by my channel. Hope this is uh, what you were after. That's the way Marsh Rats sharpens a blade. Cheers from Ohio.